Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today prior to the launch of both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, Apple has released the first iteration of iOS 8 to the public, 8.0. I need to preface by saying something extremely important. This is neither a jailbreak tutorial nor am I claiming that it is one. If you look up at the title as well as down below in the description, you'll notice that this is merely an update video and an announcement of iOS 8 or 8.0's public release. Also, you will notice that my iPad is jailbroken. It's on 7.1.2. It's not on iOS 8. This is merely a wallpaper for iOS 8 that I downloaded online by searching iOS 8 wallpaper. And with that, said, opening up Safari, let's discuss iOS 8. It has been released to the public. It is available for compatible iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models for a full compatibility list. Just be sure to check out Apple's website. Also to start, iOS 8 is great for a lot of reasons, namely all of the improvements that come along with iOS 8, especially the slew of developer APIs that will further improve the iOS ecosystem. But at the same time, like with almost every update, it's a danger to jailbreak because it does patch the jailbreak. Put plain and simply, if you update to iOS 8, you will not be able to jailbreak until the next jailbreak utility is officially released. So that's as simple as I can make it. If you wish to maintain your jailbroken state, stay on the firmware that you're on and don't update to iOS 8 because if you do, you will not be able to downgrade either once Apple closes the window for iOS 7.1.2 restores. Also, this is another important one. Don't blindly update. I can't tell you how many people come to me on YouTube, Best Tech Info, or email me stating that they mistakenly updated after plugging their device into their computer and blindly hitting a prompt. So if you're plugging your iPhone, iPad, or iPod into iTunes, just make sure that you don't click update. I cannot stress that enough because if it goes through and if it does update to iOS 8, you will not be able to jailbreak. And now that's basically the gist of what we're going to be discussing in this video, but let's continue. Let's go more into depth and let's talk about the future of jailbreaking with iOS 8 because it's not all bad. So let's switch over here to an article on evasion jailbreak and again discuss iOS 8.0. So today is undoubtedly an exciting time in the world of Apple and jailbreaking. However, as I stated, with iOS 8's public release, danger lurks on the horizon. So on one hand, again, iOS 8 will patch the long-standing untethered Pangu jailbreak 7.1.1 utility, while on the other, the update will introduce a plethora of innovative and exciting features, including continuity to bridge the gap between iOS and OS X, actionable notifications, and a number of incredible developer APIs, and will unquestionably shape the fate of future iOS 8 jailbreak tweaks and extensions. The question that I'm starting to receive the most as of late is whether the developers on the jailbreak scene will create a new utility to jailbreak iOS 8 fully untethered, as well as the iPhone 6 and the substantially larger iPhone 6 Plus. Now, I did actually mention this in my most recent episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors, which can be found on my channel. And while I definitely recommend watching it, I wanted to go over some of that information again, as well as some additional details. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Apple's latest hardware announcements, being the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, and the Apple Watch, I strongly advise that you visit my recent coverage on the topic, which again can be found on my channel in the form of two separate videos the first one is an in-depth overview of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus in under two minutes, and the second one is a corresponding overview of the Apple Watch in under two minutes. Now, with iOS 8 currently available, the sheer number of jailbreakers who again will mistakenly update is near insurmountable. But as with every major release, it's inevitable. Put simply, iOS 8.0 does patch Pangu. As of now, you will not be able to jailbreak any device on iOS 8 using Pangu. With that being said though, a new jailbreak utility will eventually come to fruition from one of the numerous jailbreak teams currently racing for a release. And prior to Pangu, for 7.1 through 7.1.2, famed hacker Stefan Esser, commonly referred to by his online handle Ionic, suggested that the iOS 8 jailbreak would be a quote, bloodbath, with numerous teams, primarily new groups originating from China, competing 
against one another to be the first to successfully jailbreak the iOS 8 firmware. Of course, at the time, Evasion 7 for iOS 7 through 7.0.6 was patched and those on 7.1 or higher couldn't jailbreak. Lo and behold, following the hacker's rather odd prediction, the all new Chinese based Pangu dev team released the incredibly epic Pangu jailbreak for 7.1.x. Now an iOS 8 jailbreak is coming. It's not a matter of whether the tool will be released, but when such a utility will liberate millions, including those with the all new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, again scheduled for release this coming Friday, September 19th. Stay tuned and I'll have complete coverage on both of those for you guys. Previously though, in releasing the first ever untethered iOS 6 and iOS 7 jailbreaks, Evasion and Evasion 7 respectively, the evaders were cautious in waiting for all new iOS based devices to be released prior to pushing out the aforementioned utilities. Now they were smart in waiting as it ensured that all iDevice owners could, if they so desired, enjoy the endless benefits of jailbreaking. However, with Pangu's grand splash into the jailbreak scene, the Chinese dev team disrupted the evader's flow, burning through exploits that could have otherwise been saved for use in an iOS 8 jailbreak. Ultimately though, in retrospect, Pangu's decision turned out to be the right move, as the utility has been unpatched until today, iOS 8's release. Now, that being said, it's possible that this year, for iOS 8, the jailbreak developers may not wait for new iPads to be issued before releasing the first iOS 8 jailbreak. Now that possibility is further solidified considering the fact that there are likely other currently unknown Chinese teams lurking behind their endless screens waiting to take home the glory and small fortune that goes along with said glory by releasing a new jailbreak. And although history may repeat itself and we may have refreshed iPads before a new jailbreak, we'll definitely have a utility faster than ever before. Also, regardless of the team's ambition, drive, and goals, they'll definitely need to get their hands on the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus to test and in turn exploit Apple's all new A8 processor. And now in spite of the next jailbreak's unavoidable period of production, if you wish to maintain your device's current jailbroken status, again, avoid iOS 8 at all costs. I can't tell you how important that really is. It may seem obvious to most of you, but again, so many people blindly update or mistakenly update to iOS 8. And previously, if you wish to test the firmware and you updated to iOS 8 GM, which was essentially the finalized production ready version of iOS 8, it was technically possible to downgrade back to iOS 7.1.2, but I'm not really going to go over that because the signing window will soon close and depending on when you're watching this, it will likely already have been closed. So again, if you're watching this a little later, it is not possible to downgrade back to 7.1.2. You are stuck on iOS 8 if you decided to update and you won't be able to jailbreak until the evaders, Pangu, or another dev team releases an all new jailbreak utility. Now, as for the next jailbreak, just be sure to stay tuned. I will keep you guys completely covered on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, just be sure to do so. Again, you can at youtube.com forward slash iCrack your iDevice. Again, you should also be able to find my channel just by clicking my channel link down below next to my profile picture on this video. I will keep you guys completely updated along the way. I'll post not only other videos similar to this one, alerting you of major status updates, but I'll also be the very first to push out an in-depth iOS 8 jailbreak tutorial for you guys once a utility is finally made available to the public. And also, of course, just be sure to stay tuned for complete coverage on not only the iPhone 6, but also the iPhone 6 Plus. I will be posting videos this coming Friday the 19th. Again, though, if you're watching this at a later date, they should already be posted. Just be sure to check them out. And if you're interested in winning the all new device once my 6 and 6 Plus unboxing goes live on Friday, I will announce my all new iPhone 6 gift giveaway. And to prepare to enter for that, you'll need to download Free App Life now. To do so, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. It doesn't matter. And then once downloaded, install sponsored apps for points and redeem said points for various prizes, including paid application codes, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices. Also, this is my first time mentioning this, but if you happen to update to iOS 8 for any reason, maybe you mistakenly updated, or even if you bought an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6 Plus, which of course iOS 
OS 8 is the first available firmware for those devices. Free App Life has now been fully updated to support iOS 8. The install process will be slightly different. After downloading and opening the app, you'll be required to install a secondary profile that will work in conjunction with iOS 8 to further secure your free App Life account details. So it's incredibly simple and straightforward. After downloading the app, just be sure to follow the on-screen prompt. And of course, if you guys liked this video, you want more information on jailbreaking and you want to enter to win into my Amazon giveaway, just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about jailbreaking and what your favorite tweak is. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future videos on iOS 8, the upcoming jailbreak, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, and the eventual Apple Watch. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.